Hi you guys, hello everyone, it's Brie here and I'm back with another video. I have been MIA, I have been really busy doing a lot of things, working, I'm in school, um, getting your masters, it's just not easy, it's hard. Um, takes up a lot of your time but it's well worth it um we're gonna be talking about filming on a budget and some tips on how to film on a budget using your phone i use my iphone 7 plus and i use iMovie to um edit um yeah we're just gonna be talking about the pros and the cons of filming on a budget where to get things how to use it so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna show y'all my secrets of what I've been using and it's bomb. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use to film. Let me show you guys what I'm working with. This is the monitor. Hold on, sorry. So this is the monitor. Uh -oh. That is the monitor and sorry i'm getting messages okay so one thing i like about this monitor anything that i just that i do i can affect it just shows you automatically on the monitor and here's the hdmi cord to hook it up um let me show you this here are all the controls on button the menu button and these are all the controls that you need to do to, to fix exposure brightness color you can do all that on this monitor it also has a head jack and it has two hdmi cords on the side and what else oh um so with this monitor i did this is the um adapters for the iphone and this is a regular hdmi cord i'm not using the one that was sent to me because um with your iphone it um, the one that's okay so the one that's in the box with the monitor is a mini hdmi cord the one that you have to get is a regular hdmi cord so i had to go out and get this the, the regular hdmi cord and the adapter the adapter is around 60 dollars and the regular hdmi cord was around 20 dollars so i mean overall um 159 one and then sixty dollars plus twenty that's eighty dollars so eighty plus one fifty nine it was i mean it was under two hundred and fifty dollars um let me set this back up okay i should be back straight so the monitor that i have i have the lily puts a7s full hd monitor and it comes in this box Come with its own HDMI cord, two battery packs. The other battery, the other battery pack is on the back of the monitor. I just didn't take it off. I wanted to see how it fit. It has the tools to mount on a camera, on your camera, and overall, it has been a very good investment in what I'm trying to do and how I'm trying to do it. So, this was a very, very good monitor. Basically, with this monitor, what I do is I, I bought an adapter to my iPhone. And with that, I hook it up with the HDMI cord to the monitor. And when I hook it up to the monitor, I can see myself through my camera. And it just makes life so much easier. Okay, so, this monitor, y'all probably going to be like, why did you pay um that's my money but i only paid 159 dollars even off of bhphotovideo.com i'm on the website now um what's included you get two battery plays for a sony and a canon you get a shoe mount adapter hdmi cable cord ac adapter sun hood and you get a case and you get a limited one year warranty so i chose the black case and so far it has just done me justice um i feel that 159 dollars compared to a 600 or 700 dollar camera is just not in my budget right now i'm trying to save and do other things right now so um 
getting a camera. It's just not um, a financial move that I need to make personally. Um, I just don't want people to think that just because they don't have a fancy camera that they can't film or they can't do we can't make videos because that's not true you can use your phone and you can get your monitor 250 compared to 700 I would rather get the monitor and everything that it comes with it I would get I would rather get that because we're filming on a budget I just don't want anyone to think that you have to go out and buy an expensive camera to film because you don't you don't have to go out and get a $500 camera to film that I mean if you got it and you think that's a, a smart financial move do you boo but with me I, I can't do that um, right now I just getting that and doing that right now mm -mm. Don't get me wrong, I do have a professional camera. My Canon Parashot is really only for, it takes great pictures, great, great pictures. It really does. I've called Canon. Canon told me that the Parashot is not compatible with uh, monitors. I don't know. You guys let me know if you guys are using a Canon Parashot and hooking it up to a monitor now when I did hook up the Canon to the monitor it will only play back videos it wouldn't show up it wouldn't mirror my it wouldn't mirror the actual like live footage like how I'm doing it right now how I can film and see myself and I can I know what's going on it wouldn't do it with this I can film something on here and then it wouldn't it will only display on the monitor when I would go and play it back so um you guys yeah let me know this is my baby right here this camera right here this is my first camera the power shot so of course there are cons to filming on a budget lighting storage and that's pretty much it Um, those are my cons. So I do film on my iPhone 7 Plus. You gotta have storage. And I do edit on my my phone. I use iMovie. So that has, those are really have been my struggle. But I maintain because the videos that I don't use, I do use Dropbox and I use Google Photos to store all my YouTube information, YouTube videos and photos. I want to show you guys my creative side and the things that I can create and know how to do and I want to show you guys my passion so yeah stay tuned there's a lot of things happening next year I'm so excited if you guys have any questions on filming on a budget how I film and other things that I didn't talk about you guys you know what to do just leave a comment um, and we can talk about it. Also, you can follow me on my social media handles that I will link in the description box. Um, I'm just so excited. Now, of course, I'll still show um, inexpensive DIYs. Now, I'll, I'll do some hair reviews because I, I love my I love my wigs. Also, I'm gonna try to get videos out two days a week. Um, I'm in school. I'm getting my master's and just balancing work and school and trying to film is really hard it's not easy but yes don't forget let me know what you guys use to film and i'm gonna be buying a camera in the future not right now in the future and just put down below some good cameras that i should be looking into and researching and as always don't forget to subscribe like comment share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye